I'm attorney George McCraney. We have offices in Valdosta and Douglas, Georgia. And today I wanted to talk with you about five factors that affect how much an injury case is worth. All right. So let's say you've been in an accident and you obviously want to get the most value out of the case that you know that you can that your case is worth. Well, there's all different kinds of things. I mean, I, literally dozens and dozens of things that can affect an accident value, okay, and how much your case is worth. Uh, let me just run through a couple with you. Um, first one is past jury verdicts or, or for similar cases, okay, or past settlements for a similar case in your area. And where you're located affects it because the insurance company, all right, this is how they determine how much a case is worth. All right. Now, the at-fault insurance company, they know all right, what the past settlements have been in your area. They know what the past jury verdicts have been in your area. Okay. Some areas, the juries are very conservative. Okay. They don't award that much money, even in very serious cases where people have serious injuries. Other areas, uh, the juries favor uh, a full payment and compensation for people's injuries. Okay. It depends on where you are, all right? And it could be as specific as, as the county you're in. In Georgia, we got a lot of counties. Some counties are more liberal, some counties are more conservative, and the insurance companies know it. So now if you're planning on representing yourself in an insurance, uh, in an injury case like this against an insurance company, you need to know this information, all right? Because you can bet, <laughs> I can bet you, the insurance company know it, okay? They know what, what it is. Let's see, the second thing that can affect it, and like I say, there's dozens of these. This is just, and I'm answering a question that we had someone ask uh, on Facebook, and I wanted to go through and just talk about some of the different things. Uh, the type of injury that you have directly affects the value of your case. Uh, let's say uh, you've been in a car accident, you got broken bones, possibly a spinal injury, or a traumatic head injury like happens a lot of times in motorcycle accident cases. Uh, that has a higher value than someone that's in an accident and sprains their ankle and then waits two weeks to go to the doctor. Okay, now all things being equal, the more severe the injury is, the higher the case value is. Now that's, that's basic general information. I mean, that's just the way it works. Now let's talk about the third thing. Let's see, the third, uh, third thing is your ability to calculate your case settlement value. So let's say you're representing yourself, you're trying to handle uh, your injury case, and you don't have an experienced lawyer to help you. So you have to be able to calculate the full value of your case, okay? All the injuries, everything's affected, your uh, loss of work, I mean, everything out there, your medical, your property, everything, you got to be able to calculate the full value of your case, okay, including now any factors that can reduce the value of the case. Um, let me give you an example of one of those. Example of one of those is uh, your percentage of fault uh, in, the, in the accident case versus the other driver or the other party, their percentage of fault, okay? Now, lawyers do this all the time. They're trained to do it. Uh, now, if you're not able to do this, if you're not able to calculate everything that you need to add up to get the value of your case, you'll never know whether or not the insurance company's settlement offer to you is fair or not, okay? And I'll bet you that the insurance company, uh, they're not going to tell you. <laughs> they're not going to tell you the true value. If you come out with a number, let's say you say my case is worth, you know, policy limits, $50,000. They might know that that case is worth 150, but they'll settle with you for 50, all right? They're all about the money, all about the money. They're not there to be fair to people who have been injured in accidents. They're there to save themselves as much money, and they will not tell you if you're wrong on your calculation, okay? It's just not going to happen. Now, the fourth thing, um, fourth thing, let me think. The longer you wait to get medical treatment, or if you have gaps in your treatment plan and you miss doctor's appointments, you miss physical therapies, anything like that, that's going to lower your case value. Um, I mean, really, we uh, we see this every week. Uh, we've got 
someone's been in an accident. They've been, they were banged up pretty bad, but they didn't have any, you know, broken bones that they knew of. You know, they didn't have a bone sticking out of their leg with a broken leg, you know, compound fracture, this kind of thing. And they don't go to the hospital or they don't go to the doctor right then. They don't ride in the ambulance and, you know, and, and, and take the ride to the hospital. They're just, they're just banged up. Maybe I'll just try to get by. Hope, hope I'll feel better tomorrow. All right. Well, the longer they wait to get treatment, the lower their case value is going. They'll argue, the insurance company will argue that you didn't really hurt yourself there. You must have fallen at home. If you'd have really done this to yourself, you'd have gone to the doctor. You wouldn't have waited a week or two weeks or whatever it is, 10 days. Okay. So the longer you wait to get treatment, the more it's going to hurt your case. Uh, the fifth thing, something as simple, fifth thing, something as simple as whether you're married or if you're single, that can affect the value of your case. Uh, if you're married, your spouse uh, can have a, a loss of consortium claim, okay? And that's basically for the loss of the spouse's services because of the injury that was caused by the at-fault party, all right? So something as simple as being married or single can affect the value of an insurance case. So that's five reasons really off the top of my head of what can affect a injury claim. Now, if you've been in an accident or if you've been in an accident, you're trying to represent yourself and you see that the insurance company is not going to be fair with you, uh, feel free. You can Facebook message us. We'll get you an answer back. If you got a question about it, you can comment and please comment on the bottom of the video. I'd like to hear you know your comments on this and, and see what they are uh, about your dealings with insurance companies or what you're trying to do if you're trying to deal with them now. Uh, be glad to get you answers to any questions you have. And you can reach us uh, if you want to call us on the phone. You can reach us at 833-927-6227. We'll be glad to help you get the answers that you need in your case. But remember, when you're dealing with these insurance companies, they're going to hold on to that money just as hard as they can. All right, They're not there to give you money. They're there to hold on to it. They're not going to be fair with the injured parties. That's not their job. That's not what they think they need to do. Okay? So if you got a question, Facebook messages, I'll get an answer back to you. Again, I'm George McCraney, and we have offices in Valdosta and Douglas, Georgia.